every player called the new Lionel Messi since 2006. But where are they now? Skillful dribblers, particularly short and left-footed ones, tend to get labelled the next Lionel Messi. But how many of those supposed heirs have gone on to succeed? When Messi made his Barcelona debut in 2004, he was quickly hailed as the new Maradona, a label previously given to players like Ariel Ortega, Pablo Emar and Javier Saviola. Only a few seasons later, the benchmark had changed. A new generation of skillful young attackers would be dubbed not the new Maradona, but the new Messi a tag that has proven bloody hard to live up to. 2006 Bojan Kerkic Just two years into Messi's senior career, the website Foot Mercato published an article titled Bojan Kerkic, Le Futur Messi? Aged just 16 at the time, Bojan had excelled at Barcelona's La Messia Academy and would score 10 goals in 22 appearances for Barcelona B that season before graduating to the first team. His career has since had its ups and downs. Short spells at Roma, AC Milan and Ajax were followed by a permanent move to Stoke City in 2014. The forward enjoyed success in his first two seasons, but was loaned out in both 2016-17 and 2017-18 before spending a campaign mainly on the bench as Stoke struggled in the championship. In 2019, he signed for Monreal Impact in MLS. 2007 Gerardo Bruna Three years after Messi's debut, Real Madrid thought they had fostered their own version of the Argentine phenomenon, 16-year-old Gerardo Bruna. But Bruna was quickly snapped up by Liverpool, much to the chagrin of the Spanish side. Four years on Merseyside produced no first-team appearances, and short spells followed at Blackpool, Huesca in Spain, Tranmere, non-league side Whitehawk and Accrington Stanley. In 2019, Bruna signed for Northern Irish outfit Derry City. 2008 Mauro Zarate A familiar name to English football fans, Mauro Zarate has played at four different Premier League clubs Birmingham, West Ham, Queen's Park Rangers and Watford. The forward moved to Lazio after his Birmingham loan spell, prompting the Italian club's president, Claudio Lotito, to make some bold claims about his new player. The terms of the agreement foresee a valuation of the player which will rise to around 25 million euros because Zarate will turn out better than Lionel Messi, he said. Zarate scored 13 goals in 36 appearances in his first Lazio season, but has rarely been as prolific since. In 2018, he moved to Boca Juniors after making just three first-team appearances at Watford. 2009 Amir Sayoud In 2009, Egyptian club Al Ali turned down the chance to sign Abdesalam Benjaloun of Hibernian. Their reasoning was simple, they already had a new Messi within their ranks. We have a young Algerian player called Amir Saoud and we consider him the young Messi, Khaled Mortegai, a member of the Al Ahli board, told the BBC. Saoud made just 12 appearances in four years at Al Ahli. Nowadays he plays for the Algerian top division side CR Balouzdad. The comparisons have ceased. 2010 Guy Asulan It's hardly a surprise that many of the youngsters dubbed the next Messi have emerged from the La Masia Academy. A few seasons after Boyan's debut, another hot prospect emerged in the form of Israeli midfielder Guy Asulan, who was compared to Messi after excelling at Barcelona B. 
In 2010, he signed for Manchester City on the advice of Yaya Toure, but he would make no first team appearances at the club before heading back to Spain two years later to join Racing Santander. Asulan was signed by the Kazakhstani club FC Kairat in February 2018, but had his contract terminated by mutual consent just six weeks later, eventually joining Politanika Lazi in Romania in September 2019. 2011. Ika Muniain After making his first team debut for Athletic Bilbao aged just 16, Ika Muniain quickly earned the label of El Messi del Boxo, the Messi of Bilbao. In 2011-2012 season, he reached the finals of the Copa del Rey and Europa League, scoring 9 goals in 58 appearances in all competitions. Despite rumours of a move to Manchester United early in his career, Muniain remains at Bilbao to this day with just shy of 400 appearances for the club to his name. Unlike Messi, he is yet to hit double figures for goals in a single season. 2012 Rio Miyachi Branded the Japanese Messi and Rio Dino after a successful loan spell with Feyenoord in 2011, Arsenal's Rio Miyachi seemed destined for big things. Loans at Bolton and Wigan were less successful and the winger would leave Arsenal with just a single Premier League appearance for the Gunners. Miyachi moved to German second-tier club FC St. Pauli in 2015, where he still plays. After missing the entire 2017-18 season with a cruciate ligament rupture, the former future Messi, now 26, returned to fitness in 2018-19 to score five goals. 2013 Ryan Gold In 2013, 17-year-old Scottish attacking midfielder Ryan Gold was being labelled the Baby Messi. Gold himself wasn't so sure. The comparison to Messi is quite laughable, he told The Guardian. It is good to read, I just don't think about it too much. A year later, the Scot signed for Sporting Lisbon for £3 million. He only ever played five times for the club, but remains in Portugal, now with Forense. 2014. Alan Halilovic When Barcelona signed 17-year-old Croatian midfielder Alan Halilovic in 2014, the comparisons were obvious especially with Halilovic sporting a Messi-like mop of hair. Those close to the player seem to agree. Halilovic was signed from Dynamo Zagreb, whose head coach, Zoran Mamic, called the youngster a Messi-type player if there ever was one. In 2016, Barcelona sold Halilovic to Hamburg, who then loaned the player to Las Palmas for 18 months. The 23-year-old moved to AC Milan in the summer of 2018, but has since been loaned out to Standard Liège and Hiranveen. He will have to wait to justify those messy comparisons. 2015. Martin Odegaard There was massive hype around Norwegian teenager Martin Odegaard when he made his league debut for Stromgodse aged just 15. In 2015, he was snapped up by Real Madrid, who kept him in the Castilla squad for two seasons before sending him on loan to Hirenveen in the Dutch Eredivisie between January 2017 and May 2018. He then spent a season at Vitesse before another loan move, this time to Real Sociedad in Spain, where Odegaard has really started to catch the eye leading to suggestions he will get his chance at the Bernabeu next season. 2016 Lee Seung-woo Barcelona's South Korean winger Lee Seung-woo was hyped up as the next Messi, not by a click-hungry journalist, but by Barcelona legend Javi. 
In one or two years, he will be in the first team, Javi predicted. But Javi was wrong. In 2017, Lee was sold for 1.4 million euros to Italian side Verona, for whom he made 43 appearances and scored two goals before joining Centriden in Belgium a couple of years later. 2017 Pietro Pellegri In May 2017, Genoa's 16-year-old Italian starlet Pietro Pellegri became the first player born in the 21st century to score a goal in Serie A. To those at Genoa, it was hardly a surprise. Two years prior, club chairman Enrico Preziosi had boldly proclaimed, We have the new Messi. Pellegri moved to Monaco for 25 million euros in January 2018, but injury problems have so far restricted him to six appearances and just one goal for the League One club. He has time on his side. 2018 Minty the Badger In July 2018, ITV News reported that a 15-week-old badger named Minty had been rescued from a roadside in Stratford-upon-Avon. Could Minty the Badger be the next Lionel Messi? The broadcaster asked, after Minty reportedly found a new lease of life and a new hobby, playing football. And finally, 2019, Thiago Almada. Man City set to land new Messi with £20 million deal for the teen sensation Almada, read the Sun's headline in April 2019. Playing under the former Manchester United defender Gabriel Hines, the 18-year-old scored four goals in 21 appearances in his breakthrough season. In fairness, he has more in common with Lionel Messi than Minty the Badger.